Hello guys, Lifehackster here and today we are going to check out the Tapo MagCam, a battery-powered, wire-free, Wi-Fi security camera from Tapo, a TP-Link company. And this is the TC85 model. Thank you Tapo for sending me this camera to be reviewed. Let's get straight into the specs. This records in 2K quality, 2560 by 1440 pixel resolution, up to 25 frames per second in daytime and at night, in both color night vision and also in infrared night vision, and has a 150 degree diagonal field of view. This is battery powered and has a built-in rechargeable battery, 10,000 milliamp hour capacity, which Tapo states gives you 300 days of use before needing to be recharged which in reality, it will really depend on the number of activations the camera does. More traffic means more battery use. But you can also set this up with a Tapo solar panel to continually charge and top off the camera's battery. Tapo states that this has a starlight sensor, but I think it's a bit too dark, and it will definitely need the two spotlights for color night vision. This has local storage using a micro SD card inserted on the camera itself, and compatible to up to a 512GB card. It has AI detection, and you don't need a subscription. Cloud recording is optional, but there is one missing feature if you don't subscribe, and I'll tell you about that later in the video, so keep on watching. This doesn't need a hub and directly connects to your Wi-Fi, 2.4 GHz only though. It is weatherproof with an IP66 rating and compatible with Google Home and Amazon Alex A. I got the 3 camera kit and inside the box you will get a quick start guide, mounting templates, a power adapter to charge the cameras, 5 volts, 2 amps. We have 3 mounting tapes if you don't want to screw this in. It also comes with 3 metal discs which basically the mounting plates. We got the mounting screws in plastic anchors and we have the camera themselves. We have the magnetic mount. So the metal disc sticks to one end and the camera on the other end. Pretty strong magnet. And we have the camera, we have the 4 megapixel lens, 2 spotlights, technically 4 LEDs, PIR sensor, mic, status light, and light sensor. And on the back is a quarter 20 screw hole for screw in mounts or if you want a more secure mounting. On the bottom here we have the on and off button, the speaker, and a rubber flap that covers a micro USB port, not USB-C, to charge or to plug in the solar panel and another rubber flap that covers the micro SD card slot and the reset hole. Before setting this up, just letting Tapo and TP-Link Casa users know that your TP-Link Casa devices can now be accessed on the Tapo app. And you can also add them and set them up from here. So just one app. To set this up, click the plus sign, Outdoor Cameras, TC85, press the power button for 3 camera seconds, on. go to your Wi-Fi settings, and connect to the camera's Wi-Fi. Go back to the app, type in your Wi-Fi's password and wait until it is connected, and name the camera. Also, they are going to upsell you on their cloud recordings with a free trial, which I'm going to skip for now. Time to install this. You can use the double-sided mounting tape to stick this metal plate onto a wall or ceiling, or you can screw it in with the two included screws, and stick it to the metal plate, and stick the camera to the mount. Also, you can use a separate regular screw-in mount using the quarter 20 screw hole on the back if you want it more secured. And also, you can install this in a ceiling or under the eaves type of install. Let's check these settings in the app. When you open up the Tapo app, you will just see the icon of your camera. It shows that it is on and the battery life. Click on it to get to live view which loads up decently quick. In here, you can take a snapshot, record the live view, Listen in, start two-way talk, and this one is a full duplex voice call. And you can also start two-way talk using the mic. And this one is half duplex, hold to talk. We have alarm on or off. But this doesn't mean that the camera's alarm is currently going off. It will just arm the camera and when motion is detected and that's the time that will go off. There is a privacy mode which basically turns off the camera. Spotlights on or off. Motion tagging on or off. Playback. This is where you can view and download the recorded events. Now, I eventually did sign up for their cloud trial, but you can choose the local SD card recordings and you will see a timeline on top and you can download the footage from here. Gear icon for the camera settings. Detection. Wake up sensitivity is basically the PIR sensor sensitivity, which I set to the highest. We have detection zones and you can set specific zones for each AI, person, pets, and vehicles. You can set which motion you want recorded and now motion detection is all motion so I turned it off. But on person detection, I set the sensitivity to the highest for our testing later on. 
We have storage and recording, which in the clip settings, you can adjust the retrigger time from zero to up to a minute. Record buffer is how long the camera will continue to record after the motion has stopped. I'll choose the longest, which is extra 10 seconds. You can also adjust how long it will record. You can set it as short as 20 seconds to as long as 2 minutes. Video, we have night mode settings, infrared black and white or color night vision. And video quality, up to 2K Quad HD. And the frame rate, you can choose from 15 to 25 FPS. Privacy zones, you can set up to 4 zones. Spotlight brightness, you can adjust it from here. And time to do some testing. This is the uh, video and audio quality of the Apple PC85 and video quality test at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, This is the video quality of the Tapo CC85 at night, and this with its two spotlights turned on, and this will look like at 10 feet. 50. 20. 25. 30. So this is the video quality of the Tapo CC at night and this with a spotlight turned off and there's four infrared LEDs and this is what it looks like at 10 feet. 15, 20, 25, 30. We are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the TAPO TC85 and I don't have a subscription, so I'm not going to get a uh, rich notifications on this one. And it is 11.17, and I'm on my 5G cellular network. So let's check it out. Status lights on. There you go. So you will get this notification, and when you click and hold, there's no uh, thumbnail or snapshot preview. But when you click on it, it should get you to live view. live view. All right, cool. And that's without the subscription. It just turned 1118. So let's see what the notification cool off of the Tapo TC85. Status light is on. So I should be getting a notification again, just like that. All right, so just to compare, I'm going to start the 30 day trial of the cloud storage that will make me have uh, rich notifications so just to show you on the notifications now if you toggle the rich notifications and if you're not subscribed to their cloud recordings then you're not gonna have it there's no option for that so you're only gonna get text notification so I'm gonna try it for free and see what will compare it uh, the notification speed so let's there you go 30 day trial and I can toggle this to on now. We'll see what the notification uh, speed is with rich notifications turned on. Status light is on. A little bit delay. Huh. So that's a little bit delay there. And you'll get the snapshot preview. We are going to test the maximum detection distance of the TAPO TC85 and it uses a PIR motion sensor and I've set the sensitivity to the highest and the human detection only. 40 feet, not at 40 feet. Let's go 35, not at 35. Let's go 30, not at 30. Let's go 25. Not at 25. This is on maximum sensitivity. 20. All right, so and now I see the status light. And let's see if it'll give me a notification. Yep. Uh, 10, 15, 20 feet. 
not that far now we are going to test how soon the tapo tc85 is going to start recording when motion is going towards it status light is on so that's good it really didn't perform well on my max detection distance testing and let's see on this one it detected me this is the audio quality coming out from the tapo tc85 this is the audio quality coming out from the tapo tc85 so what do you think Video quality is pretty decent in daytime. Remember also that this camera has a wide field of view. Color night vision though could be better. I like that subscription is optional, except that you will not get rich notifications or the snapshot previews if you are not subscribed. Detection is a bit limited to only 20 feet, which in turn detects and records a bit late when motion is going towards it. AI detection though has been pretty reliable. Now, this camera system is not only available at Amazon, but at Best Buy too, and I will leave links down below. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.